Welcome back, fellow investors. Question, what are the best stocks to buy in 2021? For anyone who invests in the stock market, this is always the million dollar question. As no one can predict the future, one of the best and simplest things we can do is to take a look at what some of the best investors in the world have recently been buying themselves. Not only will they have a lifetime of investing experience, they will also have whole teams of analysts and proprietary software that can analyze hundreds of stocks. So we can just sit on the sidelines, wait for all the work to be done, and then see which stocks they have decided to invest in. Sound good? So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the largest, most recent buys from five super investors. We have arguably the world's greatest investor, Warren Buffett, hit TV show Shark Tanks, Mr. Wonderful himself, Kevin O'Leary, ARK Invest's hotshot fund manager, Kathy Wood, one of the world's most richest men, Bill Gates, and the man who's created the world's largest hedge fund, Ray Dalio. As there are five different companies that we're going to be going over, in this video, we're gonna cover what the company is, how much money was invested, and then a quick high-level view for each company. As always, if you do find anything useful in the video, be sure to drop a like. That would be very much appreciated. Okay, first up, we have arguably the world's greatest investor, Warren Buffett. And Mr. Buffett recently made a huge billion dollar purchase. Let's take a look. So here we have the Oracle of Omaha, and he has recently made a huge $8.6 billion investment into Verizon, ticker symbol VZ. So let's take a quick look at the stock chart. So Verizon, if you don't know, is a telecommunications company, and it dates back all the way to 1983. So we'll take a look at the one year chart and we can see here it's been relatively flat. In fact, in the past year, it's only grown 0.3%. Let's take a look at the five year. So the five year is still very, very similar. Again, grown only 6.6%. So let's go to the max. Okay, so this shows a much better picture of what I think Warren Buffett is looking at. He is a long-term investor. He always thinks about buying something for 10 years plus. So if you could draw a line from here, it's a pretty much straight line, consistent, steady growth all the way. Now, obviously we can see in the dot-com bubble, it did get hit quite hard and it was relatively flat for quite a lot of years. But this stock chart goes back all the way to 1983. And I would say this company has stood the test of time with a very consistent growth since 1983. Quick snapshot of the company. So we've got here, we've got the revenues and we've got the profits, the earnings. So we can see it's generating such a huge amount of revenue over 120, 130 billion. Profits are very, very strong. Obviously had a very good 2017, not so good 2018, but still the profits are very, very strong. Company has a market cap of 231 billion. So it's a very, very big company. PE ratio is 13. So this is the company stock price divided by earnings per share or basically it's profits. And this number is only useful when we compare it to other things. So we could compare it to the PE ratios of other companies in the industry. I'll keep it super simple and we'll compare it against the market's average. So PE ratios for the entire S&P 500 right now is about 42, which is actually really high because the 20 year average is only 26. From a 20 year average and what it is today, this is a very low PE ratio. Dividend, and I think this is one of the main reasons why Warren Buffett has invested. This is a huge dividend of 4.48%, which means if you have invested $8.6 billion, then Warren Buffett has turned this into an income of $386 million per year. So Warren Buffett keeps his cash in short-term bonds, in T-bills, and you're lucky to get maybe half a percent. So instead, he's converted this 8.6 billion and he's now getting 4.48% on the money. So 386 million, I mean, come on, it's not enough to live on, but it's pretty good. 
Next up, we have Shark Tank's Kevin O'Leary, and he has recently invested $19 million into Amazon. In fact, he's bumped up a lot of his positions, but this one was the largest from his company, O'Shares Investment Advisors. Now, I probably don't need to explain who Amazon.com is. I think we all know that. So let's take a look at the one year chart. And we can see it had some pretty good growth for six months, but then ever since September, it's been going sideways and like a lot of stocks recently down, it's actually down 15%. Looking at a five year, again, we can see some very good growth, but then it did go sideways all the way from September, 2018, all the way up to April, 2020. But still the five year performance is 426%, which is excellent. And obviously the longer we go with Amazon, this is probably one of the companies we all wish we had invested in from the start. As if you go back from the start, you would have got, wow, is that for real? 173,000%, that is crazy. Snapshot on the company, we can see, wow, this is an excellent trend line for revenues. Revenue has just been growing year on year and even with the pandemic amazon had an incredible year and even company profits you can see growing consistently year on year and 2020 clearly being the highest so extremely strong growth the company we now got some companies and we're working in the trillions of dollars 1.5 trillion dollars p ratio of 72 so obviously the market average right now was 42 so this is a high p e ratio no dividend but we can see it's five year and 10 year, this company is still seeing incredible growth. Next up, we have ARK Invest's hotshot manager, Kathy Wood, and she has recently invested $90 million into Shopify. So Shopify is a multinational e-commerce company and what it does, it helps businesses create online stores and also point of sale systems. With what's been going on over the last year with the virus, they have done extremely well helping people go online. So we can see this one year performance is excellent and it has grown 170%, even though like a lot of companies been coming down recently, so it had dropped, it's dropped 22% and still the one year performance is 170%. Five year, so this is probably since inception. This is one of the market leaders right now. You can see over 4,000% growth. So a huge growth company. And again, just look at this company revenues, half a billion, over a billion, one and a half. And then again, like Amazon last year, it's had a record year. When it comes to profits, it's a bit of a different story. You can see it's actually wasn't profitable and it was going deeper and deeper down. But 2020 being a great year. Market cap is 138 billion. PE ratio, check that out, 436. So clearly sky high saying that the stock price is very, very high in comparison to its earnings. No dividend, but as you can see, with a five-year performance of 4,000%, and Kathy Wood obviously invests in the future. Next up, we have one of the richest men in the world, Bill Gates, and he has recently invested $150 million into Schrodinger. So what is it? Schrodinger's American Life Sciences and Material Science Company. So basically they develop software for chemistry. It's been going since 1990. And let's look at the one year chart. So we can see pretty good growth, had quite a few months pullback, excellent growth coming into this year. But then look, it's had a 38% drop recently. So I'd probably just scan the news and just see if anything has actually happened. Did you miss Schrodinger's gain? Is it a buy for 2021 earnings call? So it doesn't look like anything major has happened, but you would definitely need to do further analysis on this. But this says to me, if a stock has just dropped 40%, this could be a very good buying opportunity. Let's look at the five year. So the five year pitch is very similar to the one year and the max. Oh, in fact, this only goes back to 2020. Snapshot of the company, we can see that 
their revenue growth is looking really, really good. Solid year on year growth. It's not yet profitable, though it is in the red. In fact, this just goes to 2019, but wasn't profitable up until then. Market cap, it's quite small in comparison to the other companies, 4.8 billion. No PE ratio because it's not making any profits. No dividend yield, but we can see the growth for one year, 117% is really, really good. So Bill Gates has obviously seen something in this company. And finally, we have the man who's created the world's largest hedge fund, Ray Dalio. And he has recently invested $223 million into Walmart. So I think everybody watching this probably knows who Walmart is. It's a huge retail corporation and it's probably Amazon's closest competitor in the US. Looking at the one year, we can see there's quite a lot of stocks recently that has gone down. So we've had a, a 11, 12% drop. One year performance stands at still, it's up 10%. Five year is looking better. Five year performance of 92%. It did peak out at 125% after the recent drop. So is this a potential buy opportunity right now? And we can see this chart goes all the way back to 1981. And from then we've had a 47,000% increase. And looking at the company, this company has got huge revenues over 500 billion with consistent growth. We can see profits. There was a bit of a blip in 2019, but it's pretty strong. And it's amazing with companies like this, just how much revenue they have to generate in order to generate this amount of profits. So very tight profit margins. Company is very big, 365 billion, PE ratio of 27, which is pretty low. It even pays a dividend of 1.7%. And as you can see, really, really good growth, a five-year performance of 92%. So there you are guys, those were five of the most recent stock buys from five of the world's top investors. And the stocks were Verison, Amazon, Shopify, Walmart and Schrodinger. Just to be clear, I'm not telling you to buy these companies, but if you are looking for some new stocks for your portfolio this year, these were the ones that were pre-selected by these top investors. So hope you found this useful. In fact, just one favor to ask, if you did find anything useful in the video, if you wouldn't mind taking two seconds just to drop a like, that would be very much appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to click below and join us. I do have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Okay, cheers guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.